we have in genetics recessive and dominant. So a dominant gene is always powerful over recessive. It's like brown eyes are stronger than blue eyes. If you get a gene for brown eyes and a gene for blue eyes, you get brown eyes. Look, 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 look. Blood types like that too. A and B are dominant to O. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. So if mama gives you an A gene and daddy gives you an O gene, you have AO, but you're A, because the A gene is dominant to the O gene. What? And of course, the first blood group to appear was O. And even till today, O constitutes the vast majority of people. Then many millennia later, A, and then after that, B, and then the last blood group to appear, AB, only 2,000 years ago. O blood is the oldest blood type on the planet. It is the first blood type on the planet. It is the original bloodline. All the other blood types, A, B, and AB, are mutations from the O blood type. So by definition, O must be dominant to all the blood types it became first. Since it came first, just as a dark skin is dominant to a pale That's skin. why the majority of the world's population has a dark skin. Because it is dominant, which means it came first to pale skin. This is why the majority of the world's population has O blood type. Because O is dominant to A, B, A, and B. Because it came first. So now that we have established that O blood type is dominant to all other blood types. And that O blood is the oldest, the purest, and the original blood of the first peoples on the planet. We can move on. And face the facts that 75 to 100% of the population in America had O blood type. prior to the colonization by any European or foreign nation. What does that mean? That means you have to throw out the out of Africa theory out of the window. You have to throw that out of the window because if the oldest people have O blood type, which is the original blood type of the first people, how can they come from Africa when they was already here in America prior to colonization. Once you realize that we as indigenous people of the Americas have the oldest blood on the planet all other pieces of the puzzle will start to fall into place. You'll start to remember things and they'll start to click. For instance, in 2013, scientists found that the Y chromosome of a South Carolina quote-unquote African-American man's Y chromosome went back to 340,000 years ago. The oldest Y chromosome to date found in the world is found in America from a quote unquote African American. And I'm going to provide the proof so you can look at it yourself. But this is just more evidence, just backing the fact that we as indigenous people have always been on this landmass. There wasn't a time that we were not here because we are the oldest people on the planet. This is not what you would call racism or hate speech. This is science. This is biology. This is facts that you can look up for yourself and that I'm providing the evidence so you can easily get to it and try to disprove that.
So, you know, don't believe anything I'm saying. Go look it up yourself. And you will find that the oldest blood type, which is O from the original people, is found here, right here in America.